We smoked some weed afterwards and we stole his mom's gin. What? So it's PlayStation. Here we are. PlayStation, PlayStation. 1. Yeah. This is the console we play now. Turns out that it's just the easiest. It's it's one of the easiest consoles to record from. Well, and and I don't really understand that fully. I don't know enough about stuff to understand why that's happening. All right. So if you saw the logo on the screen, you know what we're playing. If you click the link to watch this video or listen to this podcast, you saw what we're playing. We're playing the Mummy. Yeah, it's the Mummy. I don't really have a lot of memories of this game. I don't have any memories of this game. No, I didn't know it happened. Uh, I was kind of just perusing around the PlayStation catalog and said, no, I got to get me some of that. Yeah, we're barreling towards 100, and we've decided that it's going to be a PlayStation 1 run. And so, yeah, while you're looking around playing games, and here we are. The uh, mommy. New game. Let's do this thing. Yeah, back in the day, man, they just pumped out games for whatever. Oh, sure, yeah. A thing came out? Here's a game for it. Tie-in merchandising. Is it a good game? It's a game, and it's on PlayStation. I'm excited because, like I said, I have no memory of this whatsoever. Normally, I would skip the intro cin cinematics, but I kind of need this right now because this looks like shit. And <laughs> oh, also, we have to mention, um, speaking of dusty old bones. Um, dusty old bones full of green dusts. Pat Robertson died. <laughs> Pat Robertson's hella dead. So in honor of Pat Robertson's memory, we're playing The Mummy. Because now there's potential for him to be an antagonist of some kind of supernatural entity. He's going to be a mummy someday. Oh, no. This guy right here, Pat Robertson. Terrible. Don't put that on him. I have a cousin looks just like that guy. It's wild. Awesome. When the movie came out, I'm, I'm like... they could put this in a game for kids, isn't it? It's like a PG-13 oh, oh, movie. Oh, damn. That's right. Oh, yeah. Look at them cheeks. Yeah, wrap those cheeks. Uh-oh, they're wrapping him. He looks super okay with what's happening. Oh, no, he doesn't. Never no, mind. No, he <laughs> looks terrified. Zooms in. He's like, I'm having a bad time. This is this is straight up from the movie. Guys, guys, this isn't funny anymore. Yeah, no, they're playing clips from the movie. Yeah. This is awesome. It really cuts out the game makers having to do a lot of setup here. This is the kind of stuff that makes me worried as far as, like, copyright stuff goes, but whatever. It's in the game. I would put the music down low in the mix. Um, <laughs> it ain't that high. You can't quite you hear it. You know what I mean? We'll like, see what it's happens. Fine. The Mummy. It's the game. Uh, real talk, this movie slaps. The movie is awesome. The movie is incredible. The second movie is not as incredible. And the third movie should never have been made. Second movie is still enjoyable. Third movie is, I think, yeah, when it crosses over to... Okay, we're done. We're done here, guys. Still open to... Brendan it's still, coming back. Like, it's still just the one. movie. It's, it's still just the yeah, movie. Just so we're checking in here, it's still just the movie. Um, we haven't even met Rick O'Connell yet. I and mean, he's an American Legionnaire, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but whatever. We're on board with it. Look, I'm sure he just showed up the first day and was like, yeah, I'm not doing an accent. And they were like, so your character's American. All right, everybody just roll with it. Did you see that jawline and those pouty lips? Mm. Destined to be a star, this man. It's hot. It's absolutely hot. And even now, like these days, still hot. Different kind of hot. There's no denying that, all right? I'm not fucking blind, but still absolutely hot. Who's the uh, female lead? Is that uh, Rachel Wise? Yeah. Is that who that is? Yeah. I had a porno when I was a kid oh, with wow. a girl that looked like Rachel Wise. Jesus. <laughs> you weren't expecting that, That's, were you? That snips right out, by the way, if you... <laughs> oh, no, no, absolutely not. If you feel like it, I'm just saying. That was the first time. There. That was the first time I saw a boy pegged. Was <laughs> was in that video? Was in that video with Rachel Weiss. It explains, wasn't. That explains a lot about you, actually. <laughs> wasn't Rachel Weiss? <laughs> it wasn't her. No, we're. God, that, I'm, oh, right. it's it all rushing back her. to me. I was with a friend when we watched it too. Uh, what is that? I don't what know. What is that age of just like boys watching porn together? It's we're such like, a weird phenomenon, but uh, I feel like almost a universal one. Yeah, I was fourteen. My buddy was fifteen. We found a porno tape. Fifteen feels a little old for that to be happening with a friend. I feel like it was. It was. By then I knew. I was like, no, this is just for me. I don't need it. <laughs> we smoked some weed afterwards and we stole his mom's gin. What? It was a different time, man. Holy God. Oh, my Lord. You were a, you were a bad kid. I was a bad kid. You were. A, I say if like two I would have been like two years into smoking cigarettes at that point. So, yeah, I have no room to judge. When I hear about. I lost my virginity at 14. Yeah. So I'm like, judging you for a little porn. I'll have like a coworker or something share their record with me. Oh, I love his face up in the corner. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> they share their record with me, and I'm like, I must have just got lucky because uh, I was a bad kid. Yeah. All right. I got to learn how to play this game now. Look at his oh stupid little run. 
That's ridiculous. Is fire bad? No, fire is not bad. Did they think because? <laughs> oh, hey guys, did they think here I his, come. His boots are that high that his knee is that high too. Oh man. <laughs> Oh, hey, hang on, Rachel. I'm coming over. I'm coming to, coming to get you. Rachel. What, what'd you find? Oh, my God. There's too dark to read. No, it's too pixelated to read. That's what you're thinking of. Why does it look like they gave her dreadlocks? A mm. little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Not okay. Too chunky. Yeah, no. Pat Robertson's fully not on board with this game, then. There's far too much. Oh, this game is demonic. There's yeah. far too much cultural exploration in this game mm-hmm. for, for Pat Robertson to enjoy. My side of the internet, fully on board with uh, Pat Robertson's demise, and I think that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, I think we were all just kind of collectively. <sighs> He's good. And during Pride Month too. Great, great job. Good timing. Great. Thanks Did for the someone... gift, Pat. <laughs> the gays killed Pat Robertson. Just the collective joy of the gays during Pride Month was too much for him. Just as the Lord intended. Yeah. To relight your torch. Put it in any wall flame. All right, it's one of those games that just holds your fucking hand the whole time. Fantastic. They probably had to because it's such a shitty game. You want to light your torch on fire? Put it on some fire. Put it on some fire. Uh, pit? Jump? Arm oh. yourself. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's... It's, I did what it said to do and it didn't quite work. What's up, guy? Shoot him to death. That guy's like, I just got this job. Right. <laughs> just, are you here about the? <laughs> here about that you're dead now. I jump that. Can I get up there? Oh yeah, this is absolutely a Tomb Raider knockoff. Oh, are you kidding? Yeah, you're That's literally in a tomb raiding it. I don't remember Laura Croft running around like she had something actually inside her ass though. And uh, poor Brendan here. His butt is just full of stuff. What kind of stuff? Mummy stuff? How did I never play this? I didn't even know this came out. That's what I'm saying. Like, I didn't hear about it. Pits may contain prizes or surprises. Well, which fucking is it? Oh. <laughs> oh, hang on. I left some of the prizes. Yeah, I was going to say, what are you? It looks like scenery. I can't tell what scenery. It's like Easter candy. <laughs> <laughs> Unwrap it. It's just a chocolate. <laughs> oh, I thought the game just said, no, you're done. There's a guy. Oh, hey, what's up, bud? Who are these guys? I don't know. <laughs> Scientists? Why do they turn to dust? Are they? Are they? Oh, hang on! Hey, beep, beep, beep! Up those beep. dump trucks <laughs> coming through the dump dumps. You all caked up. <laughs> all right. Okay, I see you. Slay Fucking Brandon. dead. Got him. Oh, just an old guy with a cane. <laughs> just gone. What else you got? Uh, that's a butt plug. It really does look like a sex toy. <laughs> a lot of butt stuff. Brennan's like, no, I insist. More butt stuff, please. It's a glute-centric game. Can you read that? There's a lot of shit in the Hidden way. mechanisms can unlock secret chambers. Try pressing X. Turns out I have a hidden mechanism to unlock your secret chamber. I don't like that, Harry Potter. <laughs> I remember that book. Chamber of Secrets, more like Chamber of Let's Go. There we go. I did it. Yeah, you did it. I fucking did it. Good large triangle. Who left all this floating shit around? You thought that was a triangle? Wow, more text. When you've got the star key, oh no, <laughs> that's a fucking square, a diamond. There you go. All right, what well, are shapes? Square and a diamond. I mean, what you want to do? Is just a square rotated, you wanna, right? Like, you want to. So what I did, I tried to do when I was a kid, is I shoved the square block through the round hole. Oh my god. When you've got the star key, the gold switch is released. Stand by it and press it back with X to open the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. got it. Nailed it. Got my got my pieces. Arm yourself. He's like, I was I was getting mugged, but luckily I had my pieces. I love a game where you walk into one room that looks exactly like the room you were just in. So I pushed a switch, yeah, to walk into an empty room to press two more switches. Right. Boy, now, just, obviously this is just mostly tutorial, I'm assuming. So these yeah, fuckers they are gonna it's gonna be pretty basic. These here, fuckers so. went on nineteen ninety nine Squarespace and were like, Oh, this is how you make a game. I kinda wanna see like what this game's version of like a boss or whatever is. You know what I mean? Like is it gonna be mostly puzzles or is it gonna be like fighting and stuff? Because it's giving you a bunch of weapons. The rock's like, Oh, you're gonna oh. you're gonna make what kind of game? You just pickaxe you to the brain and you just die right now. I had do not have unlimited ammo. What happens when I run out of is it, do I use this? I'm afraid to use that. I only yeah, have, yeah, you only got one. I only got one plug. I gotta keep light it. that torch. I gotta find fire. Where's fire? You might have to go back out the way you came in to go get something from the other room. <sighs> Tedious is what this is. 
A little. A little tedious. Beep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back it up. That's what the boys want. <laughs> I operate like this, though. For sure. Oh, even your torch counts down? Oh, I can hit stuff with it. That's good. That is be it. You got seven more seconds of this, by the way, so hurry up. Wow, make it count. Oh. Got him. Gotcha. And then, yeah, it burns out. That's what I do to keep the mosquitoes at bay. I have my... Uh, Just you outside. My fucking three-foot torch. <laughs> Dual-wielding a, a tiki torch. Got him. <laughs> oh, good. I can just beat him to death. Yeah. Perfect. You know what doesn't run out of ammo? Sticks. <laughs> I heard someone say something just now, but they're like, Ooh. what was that sound? Oh, to yeah. dodge attacks. Oh, okay. So it's a Souls game. Got it. So it's a straight up Dark Souls game. Here they game. come. Two guys and a beetle. Two guys, one beetle. <laughs> because it. of socialism, they only had one cup. <laughs> Don't they, back all the way up to the price. I know. I'm backing up. Why is it reversed? So I have to push left on the control. Hang on. This was supposed to be like a bulldozer <laughs> sim game, right? <laughs> it's built on that code, yes. Yeah, okay. Jeez. Well, I really pick them, don't I? You do a great job. Better than the games I pick. The games I pick end up being unfindable or unplayable. Yeah, you really... For no reason. Let's go through that. What are the two games that you recommended that I have been unable to find? The first uh, one was a Stephen King game. Yeah, we wanted to right? play The Dark Half. Which and is apparently like a point-and-click PC game that we couldn't get... Which I'm way into. ...to function. Yeah, it was right up our alley. It was along... We played uh, Dune. We played that Star Trek game. We we were into that kind of thing. We stumbled through that Star Trek game. We stum Yeah, to say we did it is pretty generous, I would I would imagine. Uh, what else? What else did we want to play? Hang on, i got to press this button. I'm good. Nice. Oh, cool. Okay, so when you put your torch in was your butt, Star Wars it, it goes game? out. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like I've suggested Star Wars games in the past that we haven't been able to play. I've been nervous about Star Wars games. I know. We've been hit with those. Yeah. I hear a lot about like copyright strikes with Star Wars games. And it totally makes sense because LucasArts, whenever they was their game, they're like, no, we're going to use our music. We don't care. We, right. don't have to, we don't have to pay anyone for it because it's our music. Make it. Oh, good. I have nailed it. Ultimate long jump. Brendan Fraser, Olympian. Fraser? Fraser? It's Fraser, right? Yeah. All right. I'm like, thinking like, like the boxer, I believe. Not Kelsey so, Glam like Kelsey Grammer's Fraser. Like Joe Fraser, the boxer. I believe. Yeah. Okay. I like it. That's how I remember it. And yeah, like you could use the counterpoint, not like Fraser. The voice actor they got to imitate Brendan Fraser in this game is rough. He just said something's not right here. And I go, All right, so you just you found a you found one of your testers, and we're like, hey, we, we really need you to do a voice in the game. Uh, do you like the mummy? He goes, I love the mummy. Are you kidding me? Great, the game's coming out in three weeks, so get oh, in the booth. <laughs> so fucking hop in. You're Brendan now. Sometimes whenever he keeps saying that something's not right here, so it's I'm almost, an idiot. It's almost as if the person operating me doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, mummies! Like he just starts subtly roasting you. Whack, whack. All right, I need, I need my pieces. Move closer. Get my pieces. No, use the, use the other thing. Use the force. No, I'm gonna use these guns instead. You'd think guns would be pretty ineffective on mummies. They use them in the movie. I know. Right? I'm just saying in general. And they are fairly ineffective in the movie. The music really just picked up. Because what is a mummy if not a, if basically a zombie, right? right? And everybody knows that a zombie can take gunfire. It's a reanimated corpse. Mummies don't feel pain. Right? I guess. You see what I'm saying, though? I've never seen the first mummy. I'm unclear on mummy rules, I guess is what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't know. What are the rules? Uh, watch the mummy. They'll tell you the rules. The music just shuts off. I think it's pretty unclear. Wow. Is he going to... Okay, so there's like a trigger point right here. You can just walk back and forth. Are you supposed to be pushing stuff on the wall there? I'm seeing more of those boxes. <laughs> you know what I mean? What do you see? This? No, the one you were just at. Oh, I pressed that already. Yeah, it I'm just saying, a, is there any more of those? It opened a door here. Let's go, let's go back. Are we missing any? Yeah. This is about... So I played this before I, came, before I went to work this morning. Did you? You wouldn't fucking know. <laughs> I played it for a little bit. I got to here, and then I got stuck in this room. Oh, okay. Well, that, that makes sense then. Maybe I just open it. No? No, that's not it. All right, pause. <laughs> we're back, baby. Nailed it. That went too hard. But 
I would have been there for a while had I not just said pause. I would have kept meandering around. Right, right. Hang on. Don't don't bite me. Does he look back kind do, of mockingly like, oh, you're going to shoot me? Back to mummy rules. Do they bite or do they just kind of kill? I think they just kind of kill in general. I never got the sense that they were trying to eat you. Yeah, you're not going to get turned into a mummy. I'm trying to think of the old like Universal movies uh, and what they were even allowed to show the mummy doing. You know what I mean? He mostly just stalked people. Yeah, right. He, he, he's like, my arm is kind of fucked up. He had that, sh- that shamble, you know? Yeah. Had the arm kind of up on... Yeah. I feel like it was mostly the horror of seeing him and the fact that he could move more than he was an imminent threat ever. Like, oh, wow, that's an actual animated corpse. Right. We right. got we to get out of all, here. Looks horrific. <laughs> Second of all, oh, shit, it can move. Yeah, that was pretty mind blowing in the 20s and 30s. I haven't found the head mummy yet. I'm excited. I want to find the head mummy. I want to talk to the big cheese. Let me talk to Joshua. Your top mummy. The, the mummy's name's not Joshua, it's Imhotep. And I go, let me talk to Joshua. I want to talk to Joshua, please. You see Josh? It's my cousin's name. His name's Josh. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. Take me to Josh. <laughs> I like to think, I haven't seen him in years. I like to think this is where we reconnect. Like, oh, that'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> this brings us together. Remember that time you looked like the guy from The Mummy? He'd be like, yeah, I still do. Nothing's changed. I still do sometimes. <laughs> All right, another locked door. Got it. Can't just walk through there, can I? No. No. All right. No, but these are always ones that seem to open when you do something. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So I climb up there. Can I climb, jump over there? Got it. There oh, it there is. it I is. I see it. Yeah. Beep. <laughs> Every time he goes backwards, I'm like, you got to get a beeper, bro. You might have to put that in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm going to do that. It'd be worth it. Absolutely. It'd be absolutely worth it. Not super loud, but just represent it no get oh wow he's got a big weapon too no no away away that guy's like i'm gonna be okay no i'm dead so how's your week been oh it's all right yeah like in pretty in, pretty in, standard in weird customer interactions no it's been fairly normal i feel like you've had a string of those lately but they've all been super fun to, oh to hear i'm about. i'm becoming a little i I try to be polite, you know? Oh, yeah. I love where this is going. <laughs> I really... They make it tough sometimes. Give it to me. Yeah. Guy, guy today, we, we it's a service that we offer. And we, we've we always charged for this service. Yeah, right? you're servants in this guy. Yeah. Service in this guy. You're really giving it. Really giving him the business, With right? With both hands. Gotcha. And he's like, oh, I've been coming here for years. This is the first time that I've ever heard of you doing this. Two things. One, I've never seen this man in my life. Mm-hmm. I've been employed there for... Almost four years now. And w- want to reiterate, not a gigantic place where someone could come and go without your knowledge. Yeah, no, I I remember people. There's, it's not that hard. You know, it's a small place. A I'm, single digit number of people working there total. So, yeah. And he kind of went on this little tirade that he, you know, like it, he shouldn't have to pay for it. And I said, hey, I, and again, being polite, I said, I completely understand your situation. You do not have to do it. Right. It's all good. I understand. I get it. Fucking, I've, I've been there where it's tight. I, I kind of, I didn't make fun of him necessarily. Right. And I wasn't really passive aggressive either. But I did just re- reiterate that I know what you're going through, man. You yeah. don't have to pay for it if you don't want to. No big deal. And he's like, no, it's cool. I'm like, well, then why are we talking about it? If, it, if it was cool, then why'd you bring it up? Some people just want to be heard, you know? And whenever you're in a retail environment, you're being paid to hear them. To an extent. To an extent. That's what I try to remember when I'm dealing with the general public. Right. I always... uh, To an extent. We are all humans. We deserve a little bit of grace. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. And that's why I don't blow up on people. Exactly. Yeah. Don't blow up on anybody. I've never blown up on any kind of worker out in the field. Now, there is a limit. Yeah, you know what I mean? Stand up for yourself, obviously. But yeah, day-to-day general interactions with people, I think we'd all do with a little more patience, you know? Yeah. Yeah, keep collecting them diamonds, bro. I gotta. It's part of it. Gold diamonds. And what are the diamonds for? They're part of it. They're part of it. I still want to know what that does. I don't know. I'm afraid to use it. It's got to be like a clear all. Oh, maybe, yeah. Yeah. I was like Nightcrawler's clear all attack. In the X-Men arcade game. I he's, love Nightcrawler in general. He's yeah. zipped around the room. Oh, it was so cool. Very cool. I feel like Colossus had a pretty good one, too, in the arcade game. 
Some panels are not just ancient murals. Press action, which is the X button, to see what they do. See, that's what I was telling you about looking for stuff on, on the walls. All right, flip it around. Oh, uh -huh. there you go. It's going to be your puzzle action later. He just said, there's someone around. How did you get here? I just got that's here. That's what I'm saying. How? What are all these guys doing here? How are you here before me? Does it oh. He what if they were running towards you saying, thank you, thank you for finally opening the door and freeing us, and you just mowed them down? There have been gaps before this that yeah. I've had to jump over. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, gaps? By the way, gap. It's, it happens. You know, by the way, this is a video game. Ah! I'm sure that was just some manager's note that he wanted to feel like he was doing something. Yeah, make sure you put in something about the gaps. All right. Oh, yeah. man, one more diamond. I see it. Fill it in. Fill it in. Are you... Are you fully Jewish now? Are you <laughs> now that the star is filled? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was going to fill in the last one. That's what happens, actually. Yeah. You got one more until you're fully converted. I can actually sing. Uh, that reminds me. I have like a, a soundtrack station on Spotify. And the Fiddler on the Roof popped up the other day. And I forgot that I know like the, 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 the main song that everybody knows. If I were a rich man. Yeah, I know the whole the fucking words. When, by the way, some of the words are by quick escaping from these pits in case you get entombed. No. D don't get entombed. You better hurry, bro. Nothing happened. Oh, shit. Yeah, that uh, would have happened. That would have happened. Careful, uh, they might fling you up into the walls, too. <laughs> some, of, some of the words are... Yeah, you, you know. it's a very Broadway song, yeah, you know. Oh, God, I love Broadway music. It's just, oh, it's wonderful. Yeah, it's a great song, too. I get a lot of that. I get a lot of... I think it's like the Broadway station. I get a lot of Hamilton. Uh, fucking love Hamilton, which I know is not... Uh, everybody it's, loves Hamilton. It's neither here nor there. Yeah, Every, everybody just, loves Hamilton. Whatever. It's fine. All right. I, I thought really that would push for, that. I don't really care for Hamilton that much. You don't like it? I don't it's know. It's not really my thing. I like uh, Lin-Manuel Miranda. Like, yeah, he's a cool guy. He's incredible. He's fine. He doesn't just, bother me. Just a delight. He doesn't bother me. I like that. I'll take that. You know what I mean? Like, I'll he fucking take that. He doesn't bother me. I got no hot takes on Lin, Lin Something Manuel. tells me. Something tells me that Lin Manuel Miranda, if you heard him, if you heard you say that to him, he'd be like, "No, I'm good with that." Yeah, it's absolutely fine. good with that. I liked it when he was on House. Oh no. Oh, is that a game over? Yeah. Yep. Don't right. no worry. You're back here. Yeah, still got four more sad Brendans up there. <laughs> Don't worry. I got four Brendans left. Yeah, one more diamond until you're fully converted. I'm so excited for you. <laughs> Feel it happening. They're going to take my dick and chop it off. They're like, going to make you sing in front of everyone else. I'll do that anyway. It's still going to tell you every time? Every time. No, this is, a, this is what we call... Old a, school. It's a bad game, right? No, it's just... Obviously, you needed to learn that again because you died. <laughs> right. And I never got to call, talk to Pat. I'm hung up on that. Who's a famous person that you don't like that you want to talk to? That I don't like that, that you I want. don't Why like. would I want to talk to somebody I don't like? Tell me right now. Just to give him, give him the business. Give somebody the business? Give somebody the business. I'd give Steve Jobs the business. Hell yeah. Arrogant prick. Yeah, all right. This you, is You know what I mean? This is what I want. You remember that scene in Oh, you're just going to eat fruit, enjoy dying. Hang on. This guy's Dumbass. like This guy's like I can't come past here. Parked in handicap spots cuz he was just like, "Oh, I'll just pay the ticket." What a dick. Like that's just dickhead behavior. It's not cool, it's not edgy, it's stupid. Didn't expect this. You I'm know happy what I, mean? I asked. Fuck Steve Jobs. All right, so I got to go this way. They made two movies about him, both of which are mediocre at They best. made, like, three. Fucked over his daughter, wouldn't acknowledge that she was even his daughter. Even when they went to court and were like, no, you have a, you have a one in however many ch thousands chance, blah, blah, blah. Like, you are the father. And he's like, well, that just means that there's, like, six other guys that could technically be it then in the world. And it's like, no, that's not how that works, bro. You're like, Steve, that's fucked up, Steve. You fucking suck, Steve. Named a computer after her. Like, it's fucked up. Fucked up stuff. Fuck that guy. I didn't... I, I'm but yeah, by all means, stand in line for the next dumbass Apple update. I don't give a fuck. Android for life. <laughs> no, they're making a... Hell yeah. They're making a new Apple thing. It's a fucking visor. You gotta wear it. I'm out of juice! I'm not wearing it. I gotta go! I'm not wearing it. Hang on, let's use this. Use it. Oh, I like that. Oh, it only works on one. Don't worry, I got a stick. Maybe it recharges after a while. Take that, my mighty soup ladle. <gasps> it filled in. You did it. I did it. Oh, just in time, too. We got like a few minutes, but no new TV show. That's what we should talk about at the end here is that there's no Barry. There's no succession. I watched the first episode of The Idol. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> they just took down American on that part. They're like, no, it's just the idol. American Idol? I'm putting it out there now that The weekend is creepy. And not in a good, like, art- oh, he's such a layered performer kind of oh. way. Like, in a, this isn't as deep as you think it is, and you're coming off as a creep, and it's... It's like when someone tries to explain, like, oh, this is going to be really artistic and we're going to have things to say about, you know, conf- confronting the boundaries of people's, you know, yeah. perceptions. And they're trying to make it out like it's that kind of thing, but really it's just pretty trashy. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, oh, you're not challenging in that way. You're just showing a lot of a lot of everything. It just kind of sucks. Yeah, you know, you're throwing a bunch of stuff at the wall. It's not super engaging. That's, right. Again, that's one episode in. But I'm just saying, like, if this is what y'all are calling, like, the next controversial thing that you have to watch. So this entire rant, not. this entire rant just now, I thought you meant, like, The weekend was a new judge on American Idol. No, it's just called <laughs> The Idol. The guy who created Euphoria is... I was like, are we still doing American Idol bit? Is, What's happening? ...is working on it, and he plays someone in the show. So, like, not only is he kind of behind the scenes on it, but he's also acting in it. As a sleazy club promoter, because that's what they think is like cool and to have something to say about. Like, who gives a fuck about a sleazy club owner in 2023? Like, that's not groundbreaking. Yeah, but I got a sword. Fuck you know? this guy. Oh, but it's Johnny Depp's daughter. That's the main main actress. I want to run away with your sister, Lily Rose Depp. You're in the way of our love, you piece of shit. It's edgy, bro. Die. They locked the intimacy coordinator in a bathroom in the first episode, bro. Because she wants to show her body. Oh. Ew. Yeah. Ew. At least you're feeling a little gross, right? I don't know how they roped David from Shit's Creek into it, but they did. He's like her publicist or whatever. That guy just walked around like he's like, I got a shit. I gotta, I gotta get out of here. So I, got- I don't know. There's Yeah, there's no HP. I'm probably just going to start watching How It's Made again or something. All right, yeah, do that. <laughs> I don't fucking know. For sure. You got anything you're watching that, that's good? Or no, I play. sucked into Tears of the Kingdom? I play Zelda Tears of the Kingdom yeah, that's exclusively. What that's what we do. When I'm eating, though, like I can't eat and play video games at the same time. No, that's gotta- well documented in our generation. We can't do it. I've been re-watching a, a YouTube channel that I like. All of it. Oh, okay. It's uh, You want to def- plug somebody? Yeah, hell yeah. I mean, they're fine, but we'll plug them. Fuck them. Yeah, do it. Uh, defunct, <laughs> defunct Land. <laughs> oh, everybody loves Defunct Land. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's so good. Really great content. Yeah. his uh, One of his more recent ones that I really liked was he was trying to figure out who wrote a jingle from Disney Channel oh, in okay. one of their promos. And like, I used to do promo work and, and I used to make com- produce commercials and shit like that. Yeah. And... So I really, really like that kind of stuff. But you gotta and I, put those beetles in the wall. And I really enjoyed that I had, it was like a two and a half hour documentary. And the whole time he's even trying to figure out, am I a documentarian? <laughs> am, do I make documentaries? Am I Kinda? just doing a, yeah. a YouTube channel? Uh, by the end of it, he goes, it doesn't really fucking matter. And I go, no, it doesn't matter what you're called. A good deep dive or whatever you want to call it is, I mean, I think it just is a documentary at a certain point. You yeah. know what I mean? It's, it's a pretty broad term. Even if you only think of one kind of thing when you say the word documentary, I think it should include, yeah, stuff like that. I have a coworker that really loves Rogan, uh, real into Joe Rogan. Oh, sure. And yeah. I was describing kind of what I like the other day, and he's like, sounds a lot like Joe Rogan. And I go, what? No, it really doesn't. <laughs> First but, of all, no, it really doesn't. So then every beep, beep, Yeah, beep, put those in for beep, sure. Beep, beep. If you're uh, hearing those right now, I won. During your Steve, I won by the way, idea. during your Steve Jobs rant, I backed up for a while. So we might get all of it. We'll see. Amazing. He's blocking? No, I have a sword. I have a sword. Sword beats pickaxe. Did you already hit that diamond on the wall? No, I gotta kill this guy. That's the one you gotta get to, right? Come on. All right, we'll get there when you get to that diamond wall. All right. Take it out. Oh, I don't have a button yet. I didn't find the button. So finish Tears of the Kingdom so you can start recommending TV shows for me. Real quick, we gotta take Brendan to the bathroom because he clearly has to shit. Come on, Brendan, we're almost there. Go, Brendan, go. Go.